Here's some interesting facts you probably didn't know about with this case. Antioch, Illinois is where Kyle lived with his mother. He worked as a lifeguard in Kenosha, which is approximately 21 miles away from Antioch. On August 24th, Kyle finished a shift as a lifeguard at approximately 8 p.m. and then headed to the home of Dominic Black, who's a friend of his. He stayed the night there, and then shortly after, riots erupted. It's true, he did travel out of state, but the reason why he traveled out of state was purely for work purposes. The morning of the 25th, Kyle and Dominic Black headed to town to assist people with any damages that have occurred. He also helped a local high school remove graffiti from its building and also helped a local car shop and promised to help out for security purposes or any other assistance if need be. Mr. Rittenhouse, per Wisconsin law, was not in violation of carrying any rifle. He was in compliance with everything under 948.603C. Additionally, Mr. Grosskreutz was not a felon, and he was also legally able to possess a firearm at the time. Mr. Rosenbaum's charges were correct. His fiance also verified that he was released from a psychiatric facility from an overdose the previous night. Despite how we feel, we have to look at the facts surrounding the case, and then we have to make our best judgment from there. That's not up to me to do, that's up for the judge and the jury to do, and they did. And they did what they thought was best to do. Everything after that, after facts and evidence and proof were submitted, the decision was made, nothing matters after that. Case closed. We could argue this any way that we wanted to, but to give you an example from a different perspective, look at a recent case that happened on the exact same day under a man named Andrew Coffey. Read the facts surrounding that case, see what happened looks oddly similar. My suggestion is stay away from the information that the blue check marks will give you because it is skewed. That, and I think Mr. Rittenhouse is going to compile all of these, and he's going to have a very hefty case, and I think he's going to be a very wealthy man. Most of that can probably be chalked up to slander and libel, but we'll see what happens, and I'm really interested. But there's one more case you should be supremely interested in. Jury selection happens tomorrow. The case goes underway November 29th. I am supremely interested in this case. I want to see the facts. I want to see what information comes out. In my opinion, this should and would and needs to be the biggest case the world has ever seen. Take care of each other.